Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You hear any little chomping noises? It's just little blue. Can you guys see Koa behind me? Hey, let me zoom in. There he is. Can you see him? What you doing, bud? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, today's video is going to be discussing with you guys something that I've wanted to talk about on my channel for a very long time. But as you guys know, I recently did go to Florida. I did vlog it all for you, but while I was down there, I did get some footage of something that I want to talk about, obviously relating to hermit crabs. And I haven't showed you guys the footage because I wasn't really sure how I wanted to approach this video. So as you guys can see by the title, this video is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to be addressing the hermit crab and animal cruelty that I witnessed while I was in Florida, specifically at the souvenir gift shops in Florida. I know that I have a lot of people who find my channel because of my past hermit crab videos and because I do still own hermit crabs. So I want to make this video to get this very important message out there so that anyone who comes across my channel can not only understand the real reason why I make hermit crab videos, but can also understand why I don't support the hermit crab industry and hopefully encourage you guys not to support it either. So let's just jump right into this. Um, basically, you guys know I went to Florida recently and while I was down there, there are obviously tons of gift shops shops everywhere, souvenir shops on every single corner. Florida is obviously a very touristy place. So people go there for vacations and then they go and they shop around at the gift shops and souvenir shops. And then of course they go home at the end of the week. Unfortunately, something that has become very popular in Florida is the sale of small animals at gift shops and souvenir shops specifically tropical animals like turtles and hermit crabs. Now, while I didn't see any turtles in any of the souvenir shops down there while I was there, thank goodness, because I hate that souvenir shops actually sell sliders in their gift shops. I did unfortunately, however, see a ton of hermit crabs and I actually did film and get this footage for you guys. So before I show you guys the footage, I wanna kinda of set you up on why I filmed this and why I'm talking about this and basically what my plea is of this video to all of you who are watching. I know that so many of you love hermit crabs. You love watching them. I will admit they are an amazing little creature. I've always had a fascination with hermit crabs, even when I was young. Unfortunately, when I was younger, I didn't know how to properly take care of them, but I still had a fascination with them. Every time I went to Florida, just like any other kid, I was so excited to see them in the gift shops, but I had no idea and no earthly clue how horrible they are treated and what all they go through before they actually arrive at the souvenir shops, and then ultimately what they their devastating fate is after being sold at these souvenir shops. One thing I want to make clear before we dive into this video and before I show you guys the footage is if you have ever bought hermit crabs from a gift shop or a pet store or whatever, you are not a bad person. I'm not saying that. You're not mean or cruel or anything like that and that's not what I'm trying to get across. This video is merely to educate all of you who are watching on how not to support this industry in the future and then what exactly you are supporting by buying hermit crabs from places like souvenir shops in Florida and pet stores too, honestly. So rewind to when we were in Florida a couple weeks ago, I decided to go to one of the local souvenir shops. Now, when I'm in Florida, I don't shop at the souvenir shops down there, specifically any of the ones that sell these hermit crabs in these awful conditions where they don't provide them anything that they actually need to survive in the enclosures that they have at the stores. Let's talk a little bit about what these hermit crabs go through before they even arrive at these souvenir shops. Something that you should definitely understand about hermit crabs is the sad fact that all hermit crabs are wild caught. If you see a hermit crab at a store for sale, it has been wild caught. It's been taken from the wild, put in a tank, and then sold to you in a painted shell that's toxic for it. That is essentially what you're supporting. That is essentially what you're getting. The short of it is, is that hermit crabs are rounded up and caught from the wild. They are taken and then they are forced out of their natural shells and then they are forced into painted shells. The process is horrible. It's extremely stressful for the crabs and I don't have a percent to give you. I've tried to look it up, but honestly, there are just so many hundreds of thousands of them that are taken from the wild and then killed because of stress or whatever that the numbers, honestly, I don't even know if it's possible to count how many hermit crabs die every year because of this industry, but I'm telling you it's in the thousands, high thousands. The majority of the crabs that are taken from the wild and then forced into these painted shells, they are so stressed, they're overcrowded, they don't have any humidity, they have no substrates. If they were in the middle of a molt or maybe they were sensitive because they just got done molting, they have no protection, they have nothing that they need, and it causes a huge number of them to just pass away before they ever even reach a gift shop or a pet store. So that's pretty much the first thing you should know. The second thing you should probably know is that the majority of the hermit crabs that are taken from the wild 
if they do not die in that initial process from taking them from the wild due to the stress and the terrible environment and overcrowding in these boxes that they're in, then the vast majority of them do die on their way to pet stores. It's absolutely horrible, it's completely cruel, and it's something that I beg you not to support. So that's essentially what hermit crabs go through before they even get to the pet stores. I'm sure you're wondering, well, what's the difference between hermit crabs that are sold in these souvenir shops in Florida and the ones that are sold in pet stores? And you're right, essentially the cruelty is the same. They still are wild caught, forced into painted shells, etc., etc. But there is actually one really big difference between the hermit crabs that you get at pet stores or see in pet stores versus the ones that you see in Florida gift shops. The hermit crabs in Florida gift shops are in appalling conditions. They have no substrate ever. I've never been in a pet store in Florida that had substrate. They're either kept in acrylic containers with no substrates, improper water, in painted shells, so on and so forth, or they're kept in wire cages, almost like chicken wire cages, and you will see hundreds of crabs just clinging to the walls of these cages. Maybe a wet sponge or something, but definitely not salt water and fresh water, nothing for them to dip in. It's just appalling. So we are gonna be looking at the clips right now, and I'm gonna be showing you everything that I saw while I was down there. So I'm obviously having to do a voiceover for this part, but this is basically where I arrived at the hermit crab enclosure. I hate to even call it that because it's so pathetic, but you can see they give away free crabs if you buy one of the crappy little plastic containers, which again is disgusting, but that's how it's done in Florida. And I really just wanted to show you guys how horrible everything is down there and what little they offer to new hermit crab owners when they buy them. And then here is a close-up of the little plastic containers, which I'm going to talk more about in a second, with two little plastic palm trees. I don't know. And then here are the care sheets that they do offer at the store. Here is what I'm assuming they're passing off as substrate. It's just a bunch of crusty little shells. I don't even know. And then, of course, painted shells. So as you guys can see from those clips, poor hermit crabs at that store were completely neglected. Um, this is something that I've seen many times before. This isn't really new to me, and I've been aware of all of this, but I haven't been able to really show you guys this, especially for a lot of you who maybe don't frequent gift shops in Florida and things. Depending on where you live, you may have no idea that this is actually happening in Florida gift shops but it is extremely common in gift shops in tropical climates. It's probably not just Florida, but that's where I always see them. As you can see, these hermit crabs are in an enclosure that is completely bare. They're on nothing but, I believe it was either wood or a plastic bottomed acrylic enclosure. There is no substrate. They had a few frisbees full of probably tap water is what I would assume. There was no salt water to be seen. There was no vegetables or fruit or anything like that. They did have some food. I'm not sure what it was. From what I could tell, it was really minimal and they really didn't provide anything for these hermit crabs once they're sold to the customers. One of the things that you probably noticed in the video is me picking up a container that basically looks like this. No, I did not buy this from the store. This is actually my Cricut Keeper I've had for a while. I use this to powder crickets for lemon, but these are actually the containers that are sold in those shops all the time for hermit crabs. In fact, the stores usually have up signs and deals going on where if you buy a Critter Keeper for like $7.99, you get a hermit crab free which is a huge selling point, especially for kids when they see the painted shells and a really flashy neon colored critter keeper, they're like, oh, cute a pet, I'm gonna get it. And you know, that's what happens. This size enclosure, not only in its size, but because it is plastic, is absolutely horrible. Hermit crabs cannot live in this. That goes without saying. Like, I feel like I don't even need to go into as to why a hermit crab can't thrive in this or survive long term. There is no room in something like this for a hermit crab. And for any of you who want to give me the argument, oh, well, that's just to get them home to their real enclosures. I mean, that's the hope, that's the dream, but I just don't believe it. I don't believe that all of the kids who go to Florida or people who go to Florida and buy these hermit crabs and take them home in a little critter keeper like this, I just truly don't believe that the majority of the people who go to these souvenir shops and bring home hermit crabs in these little containers have a completely lit, perfect enclosure set up at home with the proper waters and substrates, humidities, lights, heating, etc. I just don't believe in, and I think it's really naive to believe that anyway. So yeah, that's pretty much what they're sold in. Now they do have multiple sizes of these critter keepers, but they're trash regardless. Again, like I mentioned earlier, another thing I noticed is that they don't sell any substrates whatsoever. They may have had a few little bags of like fish rocks or something, which you cannot keep hermit crabs on those. They will die pretty much immediately. They didn't have any bottles of salt water, no dechlorinated water. They may have had some shells. Most of them are painted, which really sucks. 
Essentially, all this store provides for the customer is the empty container, a plastic palm tree, which serves no purpose whatsoever, and then a hermit crab. These souvenir shops and gift shops, it's a business, it's a company. They don't care what happens to these hermit crabs once they're sold. One thing I do want to go over with you guys is actually the care sheets. They did have a stack of these care sheets setting beside the hermit crab enclosures. However, these care sheets are absolute trash. It kind of makes me disappointed in FMR because honestly, this is not enough information. A lot of this on here is really sugar-coated and targeted towards kids. So honestly, a kid is going to look at this and they're going to see the little cartoon pictures and they're going to get ideas, but it's not really detailed enough for me as to what information actually goes into taking care of a hermit crab. However, the detailed information is on the back. Some of this is trash. Some of it is accurate. But what child is going to sit down and read all of this? You know what I mean? Which I guess that is what it is. So number one says provide your crab with new shells to grow into. And then there's a little paragraph talking about how your crabs need to switch shells and how to provide them larger shells in their body size, which is true. The second one says not all shells are suitable homes. So it's telling you, I guess, about what size to get, what types of shells to get. It doesn't go into very much detail. Again, it's just a little paragraph. Number three is the one that really trips me up and I think that it's crap and I think that it's really sad that this company is promoting this. It basically says number three, bathing crabs. Crabs will clean themselves if you provide them with bottled spring water in their bowls. It is a good idea to bathe crabs no more than once a week. Totally submerge them once in room temperature water for one minute and then allow them to air dry. So that is trash. If you have hermit crabs, please do not bathe your crabs. If you provide your hermit crabs with shallow dishes of salt water and dechlorinated fresh water, your hermit crabs know what to do. They will dip themselves. If you're taking your crabs out once a week and you are submerging them in water fully and giving them a bath, I can promise you that your hermit crab is going to be very stressed and it's going to die. Number four, create a social and healthy environment. So number four basically just encourages you to buy more hermit crabs. And while hermit crabs should never be kept by themselves, they are very social creatures. Please don't buy hermit crabs. Number five, promote exercise by creating a playground. And it has a crab lifting weights. Like, I don't know, uh, it's frustrating. It says crabs love to climb. Coral, grapevine, choya wood, and other porous items are great for activity. Be sure to give them plenty of room to play. Be sure to give them plenty of room to play, but here's what we'll give you if you buy a hermit crab. Serve a balanced diet of fresh water in shell dishes daily. So this one basically tells you to put fresh water in a shell dish. However, it does not say anything about being dechlorinated. It just says crabs need calcium obtained from shell dishes. So it's saying to feed your hermit crab out of shells. There are other ways that hermit crabs can get calcium. I provide my hermit crabs with cuttlefish and they love it. They love to just go and gnaw on it and pick at it. There is no shell that is going to be like big enough and truly deep enough for your hermit crab to actually soak in and things like that. So I don't recommend putting your food in shells, especially as small as the majority of shells are. I think that's crap. And then if you go on the back, which I'm not going to cover all of, it does have in a lot more detail the actual things you probably need to know. It does say water quality is a must, blah, 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 talking about humidity and how to keep their tanks humid and things like that, which is good that they went into detail on the back. So all in all, this is what it is. I mean, at least they provide it. But honestly, all you can do is hope and pray that their parents are reading the back. I mean, that's really all I can say. So yeah, that is pretty much everything from the store in Florida. So I guess this is just kind of my plea to you guys. I wanted to show you guys what these hermit crabs actually go through and how they're treated in this horrible industry. Yes, I have crabs. I got my hermit crabs almost 10 years ago. I say that all the time. I say it in many different videos that I don't support the hermit crab industry. Once my crabs pass away at hopefully an old age, I will not be getting them again. I've said that many times. I feel like I just need to repeat myself so that you guys don't misunderstand that just because I make hermit crab videos, it doesn't mean that I support the industry and I definitely do not encourage anyone to go out and buy hermit crabs. Please, please do not buy hermit crabs. If you really want hermit crabs and you love watching them and you're fascinated with them, I completely understand that. Feel free to watch my videos and if you are just dead set on getting them, please adopt them off of Craigslist. There are tons of hermit crabs that are unwanted on Craigslist. All in all, I just, I hate the hermit crab industry. It is truly cruel. It's truly disheartening. And I just wanted to make this video to shed some light and show you guys like, hey, 
This is what's happening in Florida. This is what's happening in these gift shops. I know this is the time of year where a lot of people are in Florida right now for vacation and they will be throughout fall. So this is the time of year where this industry will pick up. It is going to be selling a ton of hermit crabs. And while I am so grateful that you have come to my channel or found my channel, I just hope this video helped you, it educated you on where these hermit crabs come from, the cruelties that are taking place in this industry, and hopefully it will encourage you guys to not support it in the future. So yeah, I think that's about everything that I wanted to say. This video was just one giant rambly plea to please not buy hermit crabs. And of course, if you already have hermit crabs, you're not a bad person or anything like that. I have them. I've had them almost 10 years. I didn't know any better, but I do have a playlist to help you. If you have any questions on how to care for your hermit crabs, I do have a playlist that I will link on the screen. I do wish you luck with your hermit crabs if you already have them. And if you don't have them and you're teetering with the idea of getting them, please don't. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.